Good morning, precious saints. Who is ready for round two? I got a little controversy yesterday when I did that um, video about me standing with Israel. And I'm ready for round two. And round two is going to give you guys some deliverance. Hold on. Correction. It's going to give us deliverance because I just got some deliverance a little while ago while I was watching Pastor um pastor mark from um, arizona he was talking about tolerance and man that was like a huge nugget for me because tolerance is an evil demonic spirit let me tell you why if we tolerate that evil witch jezebel we are only making her grow we are allowing her to get bigger. She is in the churches. She, so we know that um, Jezebel has a lot of knowledge. And and by the way, I don't know if, I, if you guys knew this. Let me just put this out there. I had that, that spirit. That was like one of, she is like a very dominating spirit. And I had that spirit. That was one of the first spirits that my husband called out on me before I was I don't want to say a believer because I was always like kind of a believer I believed in Jesus I just had a lot of religion and I thought when I wanted kind of nothing to do with the church and God and all that like didn't read my word and all that um I kind of thought God was boring and I cried out to God many times and I couldn't hear him and I just kind of gave up on my relationship because I would battle with alcoholism and I would cry out and nothing would happen. I would go to my Catholic church. Yes, I was Catholic and um, nothing would happen. I was just like very bored. Me and my husband kind of low-key even served in the Catholic church, St. Patrick's in Carlsbad, which one of the pastors were caught for like molestation. And I was like, I'm out of here. Um, so like for a long time, I was a Jezebel. I, my husband tolerated that evil witch. But thank God for a praying and knowledgeable husband because he, um, he started to call out a few things. He would send me videos. This was literally, so 2017, we came to like Christ for real, but like uh, we were still lukewarm, but it was because of the church that we were in. We were in a Baptist church which we climbed up the ladder. We went from being Catholics. And then 2017, we got baptized in a Baptist church. And um, from there, my husband was like getting in his word big time, big time. And he was like calling out a few things that they were teaching. And even in the, in the Baptist church, like he was just like, man, I think that you have the Jezebel spirit. And he's like, man, why can't you stop drinking like at that point when I was um in 2017 when I was trying to really give my life to Christ and I wanted more like I was already kind of getting so in the in the in the Catholic church we were both getting kind of bored and just like sleepy tired because we know that there's evil spirits evil spirits can even like get you sleepy when you're getting in your word and that's something that the Lord can deliver you from because he delivered me and my husband from it but sometimes it could be the fact that you need deliverance and sometimes it could be that you need to leave that church because you're like in a like in a false church obviously being catholics we were in a false church and um where i'm going from here is that if you tolerate tolerance is not good and i just got deliverance from that this morning because so i tolerated an evil witch right um I had this um, this person in my life who I worked with that um, like he plotted so many things. Um, he knew the old me and the new me. And when I came back and I you know started telling everybody um, how I got delivered, how I gave my life to Christ, how I wasn't lukewarm and all that, um, like he plotted. Um, I, I worked Monday through Monday through Friday, and on a Saturday when the other server worked he put a champagne bottle next to my that's what i was talking about in my previous part one two and three which is all like scattered i'm sorry but just watch them in order um 
I spoke about him putting a champagne bottle next to my books because I like to read, I, like I have devotionals, my Bible, and a lot of like um, healing and deliverance books and stuff right next to my station. And what's so crazy that even when I, when I listened to that part one, two, and three, you could tell that I still battled with like um tolerance and religion because i just listen to, i just listened to that video where it talks about if you tolerate that evil witch i was like trying to like on my video to saying okay i don't want to expose but she needs to be exposed it's not the person that we're exposing we're exposing that spirit jezebel so whenever you guys see a pastor um it's usually in the catholic churches but i see that it's coming to the even to the Christian churches, which is insane to me. That's why I'm just like, man, not all churches are built the same. But when you see a priest, a pastor that are saying that God made you this way for people that are like homo, that better, better, bleh. thank you, Holy Spirit, that are battling homosexuality, like God will meet you where you're at, by the way. He loves you. He just doesn't love our sin. He sees, you know, alcoholism just like he does you know, a drunkard with, with a homosexual. Well, I'm not going to get into that. Actually, I, I rebuke what I just said because I don't want to be a false teacher. Um, I've heard I've heard pastors say that, but I'm not 100%. It just didn't sit right with my spirit to teach you guys something and the blood be in my hands. But, like, God doesn't like sin. We'll just leave it at that. A drunkard or a liar, like, it's still a sin. And he loves us. He just doesn't love our sin. But where I'm trying to go is that if we... Especially Jezebel. Jezebel is like, you remember that I told you guys that like I feel like the Lord is calling me to be a John the Baptist to be like repent for the for the for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Like it's it's such a it's such a hard um, task to do, like to teach to preach repentance, man. And 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 if you're receiving this love, 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 grace, 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 amazing, right? But there has to be repentance in there um hand in hand love and repentance is the same thing because if you don't repent and i don't tell you about repentance and the importance of it then i don't love you if you love your neighbor you're gonna tell them the truth right thank you holy spirit but my thing is that um in the in the video part one two and three I was like being as discreet as possible because I was like, I'm going to fall into gossip. Dude, that is religion. That is, that wasn't even gossip. That's true. I needed, I needed healing personally. I got some healing yesterday, actually venting to one of my Christian coworkers. <clears throat> and I told her a little bit more. I was like, man, I, I, I need healing from this. I need to let it out because this evil witch Jezebel, um, dang, I hate this little part. This evil witch Jezebel. What she did and Pilani and all that, I I need to expose that. I need to stop saying that um that that is gossip and that that is religion and all that because it's not. It's true. And if no one exposes Jezebel, then she's gonna continue to hurt people and to get away with it. And we're not doing that. We're not tolerating that evil witch. Um, and I gotta be very careful because I. You gotta, if, if, if my husband taught me this, if you, I'm sorry that I'm, I keep fiddling with my hair. Um, if you see a spirit in somebody, it's not for you to really judge. It's for you to bind those things and pray for them. Let's say that the Lord tells you that somebody has anxiety or that somebody has depression and suicide. You, you're more than welcome to talk to them about it and say, hey, I, I feel in my spirit like you battle with this. But if they don't want prayer, then you take that to prayer and you bind those things. And you thank the Lord for giving you that nugget, um, not as um, not as judgment, but as an intercessor if you really care for people you're gonna pray them up and you're gonna love on them and that's when something that's some that's been something that i got confused because i knew that this person um the lord would tell me like be careful with this person be careful with this person um and then i would hear witchcraft 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 what is jezebel she is the babylon damn whore she is a liar she will not repent and it's so crazy because my husband 
uh, told the chef that that is now leaving his last day is on on Sunday, and today's Thursday, so I'm almost done with this evil witch. Um, and I gave this person so many opportunities, but you know what? I feel like the Lord is like releasing me and telling me that you know that person is forgiven, but we have to close doors. Like we have to be like, I'm not a doormat. Um, I I forgive you but you need to repent, you know, like you need to repent, you need to get right with God. And, and that's all we can do. And, 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 and I forgive that person. I hope that this, um, because what, what the enemy intends for bad, the Lord intends for good. So maybe this person will really repent because this person has been there longer than I have. He has been there for like nine years. I've been there for like eight and a half and it's crazy. It's like, I didn't want to see this person leave because they, they were like getting closer and closer to God. But it's not my like even right now I'm ministering to myself. It's not my duty to 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 fully bring them to Christ. It's just my duty to um, to minister, to share the gospel, to share my testimony and, and sow the seeds. I don't sow the seeds, water and see them grow. So with that with that being said, um, don't tolerate that evil witch, Jezebel. Like, we are living in the end days. Jesus Christ could be coming soon, anytime soon. We don't know the time or the hour, but we know that um, in the in, in Revelations, it, it does talk about um, that he would give us signs, you know? The signs are everywhere. Um, I really have to even pray about April the 8th. My sister sent me some videos regarding the eclipse. And my grandma was talking to me about it yesterday. We were having church on the phone, and she loves that. Like when I ha when I come to her about questions, she's like, "Hold on, let me let me open up my Bible to see where this <laughs> where this scripture is." She was like literally talking to me about um, the story of. Um, I had a lot of questions about Hamas. I I I, I obviously did a video video about Israel, and I wanted to know more about Jacob. No, not Jacob. Um, Isaac and I forgot his name Isaac's brother the the first the first son of Abraham um but anyways I'm getting off topic bit topic but like you guys should really look into that because then you guys will see how evil Hamas is and I hope I don't get canceled for that but um I stand with Israel I hope I don't make some more demons manifest on this video but with that being said I love you guys um, I just want to thank everybody for being so supportive. I'm not trying to get famous on YouTube, but I've been giving my YouTube a little bit more often. And to glory, to God be the glory, my YouTube channel is growing and I'm just like, <gasps> not because I'm trying to get famous, because I'm trying to get the Lord famous. And like I said, the Lord put this um, channel on my heart like about almost four years ago and I barely started doing it two years ago, so I wasn't faithful in the little but i am being faithful now so to god be the glory i love you guys bye